Hello, beloveds. Greetings from Camas, Utah, on a beautiful, sunny Utah day. Yes, just getting ready here for the Awaken the Heart show, where Kirsten Buxton will be doing the first of a four-part series called I Married a Mystic. It's a book that has been in the making for some years, probably about uh, 10 years after the uh, the notes were taken from traveling and living and being used by the Holy Spirit with me. And then these last um, couple years, at least two or three years, really putting the book together from the notes. So that's going to be fun. If you hear this this morning and you want to tune in live, just go to LM Virtual on livingmiracles.org. Just click on the LM Virtual tab and you can go and register, download the free software on Zoom and watch the first installment of the four-part series on I Married a Mystic with Kirsten Buxton and myself today. And I'll just be here for part one because very soon I will be kicking off a world tour that will carry me across the Atlantic Ocean over first to Spain for a little resting point. I'll pass through uh, up there in Holland in the Netherlands and then I'll come down to rest in Barcelona for a couple, two or three days, and then join in progress a, a week-long retreat which will be going on in Finland, the very southern part of Finland. If you'd like to attend that, you can go to livingmiracles.org, just go to coming events and you'll see all these events on that page. And really look forward to it. It's just going to be a wonderful time. Every time I go to Europe, there's something huge and significant that seems to be going on in the world. One time I went over and uh, it was the Euro Cup playing and when I spoke my last words of the entire country, several country tour throughout Europe, I was in Spain and um, and the Spain won the World Cup and so all these people began celebrating. It just happened to be synchronized with the timing of when I spoke my last word of the whole tour on the last gathering on the last day. So that was kind of fun. One time I went over and they had just discovered the, the quantum mechanics, quantum physicists had just discovered, the they called it the God particle. Higgs boson had been searching for it for years and so the spirit was speaking through me all about Higgs boson and the God particle and that seems to slow down, um, everything's really moving at the speed of light, but slow down things to appear, give the appearance of m matter in a material world. So, Spirit had a fun time with that one. One time I was there and then, um, I believe it was when Pope Benedict had resigned and so they were picking a new Pope and they picked the one that has now called himself Pope Francis from Argentina, so that was, every time there's something big, this time I think it's Brexit. <laughs> that seems to be on everybody's minds. Uh, so, I'm sure that will be a backdrop for many interesting discussions about inclusion and exclusion and uh, about um, betrayal, abandonment, um, all kinds of talk of scarcity, lack, economics, unity of countries, independence of countries, um, cultural trends, polling, votes, and all kinds of things, politics. So I'm sure we'll have some very, very interesting discussions. But for me, it begins when I join in on what will be a week-long retreat in southern Finland. Also looking forward to a five-day retreat in Holland and a couple one-day gatherings in Worcester, 
in England and the other ones down, kind of down near Kent. So, uh, yeah. I also plan to visit uh, my friend Maria Diaz in the London area later on in, I think it's going to be actually around the 12th, 12th and 13th of August and shortly thereafter go up McKeel McHoney and friends, dear friends up in Cork, just to the north, Cork, Ireland, and Tanya Vu, my friend, Facebook friend, look forward to sharing the time up in Cork. And it looks like August is filling up pretty, pretty quickly with a lot of things going back and forth from Casa Mixi, which is down just a little south of Barcelona. It's our new center over in Europe. Be launching out of Casa Mixi. And then I would say after that first swing, mostly through August, um, coming back from, flying back from Amsterdam down to Barcelona on the, the 3rd of September, that's going to leave me with a beautiful little stretch of time there from about the 4th of September through about the 22nd of September. So, not sure that I'll be all the time there in Casa Mixi. I have some friends. Susana Ortiz has invited me to come over to her little town, kind of her stone house, monastery-looking house out there about an hour west of Madrid, Spain. And and my friend Diana Arkin has expressed some interest in maybe doing some traveling. Never taken a trip, a driving trip, around Europe. I've been doing a lot of flying my many times over throughout Europe, but um, yeah, keeping it all open to possibly maybe running a car in Madrid and doing a little trip around to uh, visit my friend Susanna, maybe over to visit friends in the Lisbon area and the Case Case right along the coast. Fernanda and Antonio, possibly on up to southern Spain along the Mediterranean. I have a friend, Fabian, who's in Ayres near Toulon, and yeah, always nice to go up in southern Spain and also uh, southern France. And then, who knows, maybe... Uh, back down to Casa Mixi, or if uh, the trip's moving along at a really good pace, possibly Brussels, Belgium, or over near Frankfurt, Germany. My friend Manuela is, is a beautiful Course in Miracles community, a little bit, maybe about an hour north east of Frankfurt, and then of course south of Brussels, I believe it's where my friends Ken Kelly and Brigitte uh, are are based with their one process, so I haven't been able to see them for a couple of years, two three years. So, so it's going to be fun scooting around over there in Europe. So I'm really looking forward to it. Looking forward to the long flight across and popping across. The route is going to be over from Salt Lake City, Minneapolis, Amsterdam, and then down to Barcelona. Rest a few days and then head on over to Helsinki on my way towards the Finland retreat. So, yeah, I really enjoy the meditative flights, just sinking inward. It's like goes all goes by in a blink. It's, it's really quite amazing how when we're so focused in purpose, everything goes by in a blink. It's like... It's like the passage of time does not touch our our heart, our presence. It's really, we become unaware of the passage of time living in this glorious moment. That's really what the Holy Instance about, where you become fully, fully present and you lose track of time. You become 
unaware of the passage of time. How joyful, how glorious. And really, yeah, as far as it goes, even with this seeming year of 2016, it's flown by so, so, so fast. I was feeling at the end of last year, it'd be kind of a spontaneous travel year, and it's, yeah, it's turned out to be quite a bit of travel in uh, Mexico and thereabouts around there, visiting friends uh, along the, the coast, Cancun, Jorge and Brenda and their beautiful little group of friends there, and then over to Puerto Vallarta, beautiful restful time there along the coast, and just, I would say, I, I remember uh, Diana and I, with our trip up through Southern California and uh, the beautiful canyons, the, up to Northern California, dear friends up there, moving around different visits already this year to Vancouver and Calgary, Canada, over to Estes Park, Colorado, and Boulder, Colorado, and yeah, it's just been a beautiful time. We got to visit Cincinnati, the Peace House, got to go to Columbus, Ohio for a bookstore gathering, see my friend Cindy and her new husband, and yeah, it's just been beautiful, beautiful travels thus far. Already a trip to this year, all the way over to Australia, Melbourne, Australia, Sydney, up to visit our beloved community up in Mudgee. So, yeah, it's it's just amazing. It's gone by, by in a blink. These first seven months of 2016 have just flashed by. And, yeah, in a few days, it's launch time to head over for the European segment of the travels. So many beloveds along the way. Such a deep, devoted life. and Just glorious witnesses springing up everywhere to this love and divinity that we have been created as. Shining and sharing and expressing beautiful retreats, conferences, just so, so much. So I'm really looking forward to the this beautiful, beautiful trip coming up across the Atlantic Ocean. And I think, it, all told, I think we're looking at approximately almost eight weeks of travel to and back from, but eight weeks over in Europe. So that's a beautiful splashdown time for me to to come over there and share in China and I really look forward to seeing all of you. I'm Nick Davis and Anne are hosting us up there in Worcester, England for an all day and we've got a couple all day gatherings in England. Francis and I will be up there on that. There'll be a group of messengers there in Holland. Jenny Fagerstadt or Jenny Donner uh, coming along with Finland and Holland and and uh, Francis and I, Jason Warwick, coming across to to Finland. So yeah, we're going to have a beautiful time, all of us. We always do to see what all happens, but it's always very deep. I think with Finland in particular, we'll have an amazing Finnish translator. Who's a beautiful woman that will has done some translating on one of our recent calls. Look forward to seeing her again. Beautiful friends, Anu. Always a, a joy to see her in Finland. And So, that's going to be one segment of the world tour. And I'll come back over here to the United States for a silent retreat at the monastery, Living Miracles Monastery, out near, kind of between Fruitland, Utah and Duchesne, Utah, out in the beautiful canyon area. 
Strawberry River Canyon, and the Strawberry River winds down through it. Gorgeous little area. And then that's going to be for about a week, starting at the very end, I believe around the 30th of September, and running through about the 6th of October. And then I, right around the 12th or so, I will fly across to Beijing, China and join with Francis Zhu for a beautiful three-day weekend gathering in the capital of China, Beijing. And then the following weekend, fly to Tokyo, Japan, where Francis and I will do our first teaching session. It will be a weekend event. Really, we have popped through there. We popped through Tokyo. Um, I think I've been to Tokyo maybe a couple times just in the airport, but this time it's time to get out and shine and share. So, our dear friend Hiro is organizing that and uh, just has a real good feel too. It's great, great to be going to Japan. The my book, Awakening Through A Course in Miracles, is translated into Japanese, so so it's kind of infiltrating and spreading around a bit there. A very mystical book, but it's starting to take root over there. I mean, beautiful published book. I have to say, of all the cover designs I've ever seen, wow, that one's sparkling and dazzling, the Japanese edition of Awakening Through A Course of Miracles. So, I've met a lot of the Japanese students of A Course of Miracles and the ones, a lot of them are studying that book, Awakening Through A Course of Miracles. At the conferences, Course of Miracles conferences in Chicago and also in New York City. And to some extent a few, also in, uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada. So these recent large uh, Course in Miracles conferences, uh, the Japanese contingent of Course in Miracles students has been very, very strong, particularly with Chicago and New York City, that is my memory. Suko, the uh, translator of A Course in Miracles into Japanese, and also my book, uh, worked on and completed Waking Through A Course in Miracles. Beautiful, beautiful woman, very, very devoted, and her partner Chris, lovely people. So, hope to make it over there to New York City as time permits and go to her CRS center there in, in New York City. So, and then it's not over, it's after <laughs> Japan, the, the world tour, Francis and I will fly all the way down to Melbourne, for the first ACIM conference in Australia. And there's a whole beautiful lineup. Our friend Melanie from the community out there at Mudgee will be speaking there, and Kate Greaves will be speaking and organizing. Sophie, Stephen Dean, who just visited our monastery and visited us in Camas. Newly married Stephen Dean, his wife Vicki. Yeah, I look forward to seeing them. I think Stevens is going to be speaking on Friday. Gary Renard speaking on Saturday. And Francis and I on Sunday, the final Sunday of October. The final day of October. And then uh, probably visit with some dear, dear friends um, down in the Melbourne area and south of Melbourne. There's Linda Stocko and Mirabella and and uh, just a whole group of um, people, Tia, her husband James, spend a little time down there and then work our way up to Sydney and take a little Pelican Air flight across to Mudgee for a week-long retreat up in Mudgee. That'll be the last retreat of the world tour from like the the 4th to the 10th, I believe. Uh, it's, yeah, 
such a devoted group of our beloved community living there in Mudgee. And yeah, a whole week to dive deep, deep, deeper, deeper into the presence of God's love and feel our oneness and our unity. That deep connection of spirit. So after that, yeah, I do I think I've got a flight scheduled back to the States, back to Utah around the 17th of November, but you never know, it's springtime in Australia, so perhaps there'll be some time for some visiting, some travel and visiting there in Australia. Yeah, that would be fun to go visit a friend, my Facebook friend Amy over in Adelaide, and yeah, there's just, just some amazing, amazing place, Australia. I've had so many glorious experiences, just was there this year, but heading back there again this year, and then there was a stretch in there from, uh, I think around 2004 or five that there was a stretch of uh, seven consecutive years of visiting Australia, so just has been so dear, such a dear, dear part of my journey. There's so much opening, meeting so many people, and then here we are, really years later, almost five years later after all those trips to Australia, we have a community down there based in Mudgee, hosting Francis and I for our week-long retreat, and just, it's just so precious, just so precious. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting flying around as I head over to Casa Mixi over in Barcelona. I just reminded that's that'll be the, the seventh different community property that I'll be visiting. It's quite amazing. When you think of our community, it's probably only in the upper 20s in terms of numbers of people, but um, spread around. At this point, as I'm recording right now, I think we have six, six active communities up and running in different parts of the world. I've mentioned some of them, but Casa de Milagros is in Mexico, Casa Mixi in Barcelona, Spain. We've got our community in Mudgee, it's part of Living Miracles Australia, and then we have the Peace House up and running and flowing. Right now we've got uh, Eric, Ricky, Serena springing out Eric and Ricky bringing out this, this right now they're out for like a 10 day tour. And uh, and then here in Utah with the Living Miracles Monastery and our metaphysical center in Camas. And so it's quite vibrant, quite alive, spread out really across the world and hmm. Such a joy to be touching down in some of the places that I have been to, but really haven't haven't been for a little while with Japan and China. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think I'll close today before I, I think it's about a half an hour I get on the show with Kirsten to talk about her new book, Wake in the Heart, LM Virtual. I'll close today with a, a poem from my book, Glimpse of Grace, and uh, Diana brought this up. She changed the color to pink purple, and she just read this to me yesterday. I thought, how how appropriate for the feeling I have in my heart, how appropriate for all the beloveds and these blessed travels 
shining and sharing in purpose, shining the light of Christ, the light of love, the light of our heart. I will give the happiest life forever lived, flowers blooming all the time. The words you hear will be in rhyme. Love with me and I will show you how everyone will seem to know you. For love for all will surely increase and in your soul you will find true peace. The agreement we make, simple and true, to be who we are, the one Christ true, will travel the earth and act without plans to answer the call of our heart through the lands.